Hey, yo. Um, I'm gonna be talking about. Look, read that up there. It's gonna be the Devil Wears Prada. There's zombie EP. Zombie. Yes. Uh. All right. To start off, saying in this review, I'm a very, 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 very huge horror movie fan. Uh, one of my favorite genres of horror movies has to be zombie horror. But, um, I, it's kind of one of those little things where I really, it reminds, it reminded me when I first, like, read the lyrics and stuff, I'm like, what's another out? Oceano's Contagion. That has to do with zombies and stuff. But, um, like, the storylines really, the, the storyline of, um, the concept in, uh, hold on. The, uh, the storyline this EP has, it's like, it's a concept EP about a zombie apocalypse sort of thing. It starts off really in the middle of it, um, just kind of like this, you wake up and then there's zombies everywhere feeling, not like, uh, Oceano, how they talked about how, um, you know, this disease was brought about, how it was created and everything. I probably sound like such a nerd for talking about this, but uh, it really just starts off right, right there, like just starts off, and that's that's really a good uh, way to talk about how the album starts off, the EP starts off. It starts off with the song "Escape," and right away it just gets you right into it. Uh, a little ways into it, uh, it has this really monstrous, monstrous breakdown. I know some people hate breakdowns, but this is just a monstrous, I don't know, you just want to throw down to it with a bunch of fat guys, which is something that people may not have thought about the Devil Wears Prada before this EP. You know, they think, oh, that's one of those Hot Topic bands where the scene kids wear their shirts and stuff, and then they get to this EP, and, you know, it's, it's really, really heavy. From the first song, it starts off like, wow, this is so crushing and nothing it, it this is new for them and um mike's vocals with his uh i'm not sure what you would call it i've heard it called a fry vocal but i'm not entirely sure correct me if i'm wrong though i i want to know like what kind of style he does but um he does this new shrieky uh type of vocal that you you hear later in dead throne but you hear this a shrieky vocal from him, his highs, his lows are this, ah, I don't know how to put it, like, like I said in a uh, Dead Throne review, it's, it's, it's low, and it's, it's really cool, it's really hard to describe, you'd have to listen to it, but, um, oh, what else, it just, it starts off, like, right with Escape, and it just, that's a, such a powerful song, powerful song to start out with, and then, it's five songs in here, um, but the second song, Anatomy, it, it's also really good, it's, um, it's also something that they did, uh, it's kind of in this EP, they start using choruses, rather than, uh, just a break in the song where Jeremy starts singing, and then it'll, like, just, you know, they, they have this moment for him, and then they'll come around and go into something else, but it, it's it's not really that kind of, they have that in a couple songs, it's sort of old mixed with new, it's a, it's a really good combination, but they start to have, you get the first taste of like choruses where this is like a really catchy chorus, um, I know, Outnumbered, I'm pretty sure that's the song, um, yeah, where they have this chorus that they use a couple times, it's really I mean, you may think the vocals or the lyrics are kind of silly or whatever just because they deal with zombies, but it, they, they really make the lyrics, they really make good lyrics. It's not, I don't know, it, you can, it's, it's some, it's a little bit open to interpretation in a way. It's a little bit of symbolism, I guess. If that's the right word? I'm not sure. But, um, after Outnumbered, they have... I'm pretty sure it's called Revive. For some reason, it slipped my mind, but it's another great song. And as the story progresses throughout this EP, it's 
right away there's there's zombies attacking and stuff, which is a good way. It's a good analogy for uh, the first song, and then it starts. Um, it, it's still kind of aggressive, really, but by the third song, outnumbered, it sort of you know slows down a little bit, kind of like you know you're getting used to it. You know, there's zombies out there. You're sort of you know wrapping your mind around it, and then the fourth song, it's it's like there's no cure for it, so you're kind of losing hope. But it, it, it kind of, the lyrics sort of incorporate with the music very well. I've heard uh, Mike talk about this EP before, and they, something that he said, they're really, they really tried to match the lyrics with the, with the music. It's, it's a very, how would you uh, put it? Uh, it, it, the music describes the vocal, uh, the lyrics very well. And especially how the music instrumentally prog it progresses throughout the album really matches the lyrics, and it's really this big story. I I thought I found that very very cool, but um, I probably sound like such a a, a dummy talking about it. But I I thought it was very very cool. But um, by the fifth song, at the very la very last song, survival, pretty sure, uh, it, it's. Survival's a very, very, very nice song. It's very well-rounded, and I don't know, I, I really like that. I have to say that's probably my favorite song off the EP, because it it's very, it's not as aggressive. You, you First you start out with Escape, it's very aggressive, came right at you, which is something very, very cool that they did. It just came right at you. Just full-on aggression, this new heavy sound, they really hit you with it. But then, by survival, they're, they've slowed things down. They really put in some good songwriting, and it's very mature for them. It's very, they, they, you can really feel what they were trying to, what they were trying at. And by the last song, it's really, it kind of leaves you hanging a little bit, which is really cool. Uh, I, I thought that was kind of neat, how it just, at the very end, like if you follow the lyrics, it just kind of leaves you hanging, especially at the end of the song, it's just, instrumentally, it just kind of leaves you hanging, too. It's really cool. But, um, I, I found this EP to be very, very, very cool, just because I like zombies, and I like the Devil Wars Prada, and instrumentally, it was, it was really good. Um, Mike sounds really aggressive and very angry, which is really, really, really cool. I found that to be something that's really nice. Not that he's never been aggressive, but I just had this feeling. He get this really aggressive, mad feeling from him, which is, I, I loved it. Um, Jeremy, his voice sounded as good as ever. I, I love it, especially in Survival, when he has a, a couple lines. It's very, very catchy. Um, what else? Jeremy and Chris's guitar work is very superior to a couple of their other albums, but I I really love the aggression and it, this band really showed you what they can do, as in they're not just one of those bands in that scene with the with the funny names of their songs and you know the the dyed hair and the I I don't know. They're, they're not one of those bands in that scene. They really have a lot more to offer, and this EP really showed that. But, um, the only thing I can say is definitely check it out. You can see what I mean by Mike's vocals. Uh, if you've heard of the Devil Wears Prada before, anything before this EP, you might be a little shocked. But, if you've heard Dead Throne, you probably think, alright, yeah, this, this is really cool. It, this reminds me of Dead Throne more so, but they still have touches of their, their older albums. But that's that's my review of this EP. I'll have to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I love this EP. Although it was only five songs, they really put a lot into five songs. It's not one of those five songs where, you know, you feel like you didn't quite get enough out of it. It's, it's only five songs, but it's really, you definitely got enough out of it. At least I did. It's very... It's very filling, and it, it leaves you wanting more of that. And not in the bad way, but 
that that's my review of Zombie. The EP from Devil Wears Prada. It came out in 2010 uh, from Ferret Records, I'm pretty sure. So definitely, definitely get that. It, it's cheaper than their other albums. It pissed me off because it was $9.99. That's like $10. That's $2 a song. But forget the price. I'm just a cheap ass. Uh, but definitely, definitely listen to it. It's so amazing. If you like the Devil Wears Prada, if you like old Devil Wears Prada and you want something a little more heavier, this is for you. And if you like Dead Throne, this is also for you. But if you don't like the Devil Wears Prada, still give it a chance. And that is my review. Um, name's going to be up there and everything, so have a nice day.